our focus goes to Jalen Johnson, who's stating his place among the league's best with six picks this season. It's the Saints and the Pats coming up next. First open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Caesar Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today we've got a week six matchup for you here between the New England Patriots and the New Orleans Saints. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month of change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they, too, were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here come the Patriots now on offense. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. To the air right away is Brady. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He was locked in. Two trips to the end zone. Charles over 100 yards receiving. How about the combination of route running, confidence going downfield, and the ability to go up and get the football? You're exactly right. It was hard for them to stop him. They'll run it. This is Ramon Gray Stevenson. Seven yards there and a first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball. Well, they told us need to get him going. Runs like that. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. To throw again on second down. Brady, it gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. This defense for the Saints, they were very good a week ago with that win over Minnesota. The one key to their victory, the pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks. And plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield. And all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. And he will have a Patriots first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Stevenson. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Brady. This is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Brady. Over the middle complete. That's Parker. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Working with second and five now. To throw, it's Brady. And caught by Henry. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Again, it's Brady. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. In for the sack, Deion Jones. 
And the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one you turn to your wife and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. The Saints had a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. They've certainly found their group of late winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in his league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Back to throw. He finds Pickens over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here in the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal of three in the row. They crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the start? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I yeah, like a that. really good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the little bit. bit. I love it. Love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, it a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Brady. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down.
Now Brady. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit. They have back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try not to stand before they're backed up even further. Brady's throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Brady. Throwing the out route. He's got Parker. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. On first and 10, here's Brady. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll look to throw again. Targets Parker, and he's got him on the crossing route. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up a holding call. Again, they'll throw with Brady. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. A partner guaranteed their first is with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Saints force the turnover. They'll take over at the 10. Now they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. From the 17, here's second and four. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. So, Charles, you look at this offense. What a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 36.
Jones officially, and the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. Stevenson gets it again on second down, and he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And yeah, this is going to depend on his spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're going to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand and it's incomplete. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And he is going to have a Saints first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. They'll look to throw here. Quick completion here to Johnson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. to throw again. Looking for Pickens. He's got him on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in the play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now here's a throw that's complete. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. 33 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate that was just incomplete. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Johnson. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Will Lutz now to try the New Orleans field goal. From the right hash here should be an easy one. The kick by Lutz is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3.
decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goal posts. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second and 11 now. Brady. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Throwing on first down is Brady. It's caught on the right side. It's Smith. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Still a couple of yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and have other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's a wide out. When you take that hand off and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Second and 11 now. Now they'll throw with Brady. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw, it's Brady. And he comes back with one complete. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. you got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. They'll drop to throw. He's got this to Pickens. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown! George Pickens as the first half is winding down. And the Saints will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
Texas partner with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence in the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Kareem Hunt with a touchdown run. Next, we'll stay in the NFC South. We head back here to Florida. Check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. Damian Pierce, two touchdown runs on the afternoon. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Sterling Shepard, a touchdown reception. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats for New England in that first half. And despite the fact that they're looking up at a double-digit deficit at halftime, they were able to move the football through the air in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the second half from the Superdome, let's go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So here are the Saints to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat of this ball game as well. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Jet sweep. Here's Pickens with it. And some space here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Down to about the 32. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 26. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 
The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Looking to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Brady and the Patriots now first and ten at their 25-yard line. Now back to throw. He completes it to Henry. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half, and down three scores, a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. Well, it reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple, and that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Will Lutz now to try the New Orleans field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. After that last sequence, they're sitting pretty comfortably. They force the fumble, get the field goal, and expand on that lead. consider any lead safe. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. New England trying to get a place on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about... And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. 
finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. On second down, Mostert. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. Keeper, and he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. It's their quarterback with his third touchdown and 18th of the year. And the Saints take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. Lux with the extra point, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. So that drive from four plays. And it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home to their final destination? Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. A big play there for New England. 44 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. On play action, now Brady. And he wisely will throw that one away. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. That ground game just continues to strike to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And when you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry from 13 yards out. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now down to 20. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. Although a jet sweep to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the foot. Well, that'll help the old passing stats. Remember, it was a pop pass, so it's not a wide receiver run there, Charles. I like the way that you scored it, and that's exactly how it goes into the books. But remember, he's had success throwing the ball the standard way in this game. And here, this little tap pass, it goes for good yardage, a little something extra in his repertoire. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Three more points tacked on in this margin, getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Deep ball there on second down, but it will end up incomplete. We'll Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's going to go up top again. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Brady got to have this one. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. From midfield, here's Brady. Complete. It's Henry. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Brady's throw there complete. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. Now Brady... Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got Smith here. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Brady now to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Myers. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Here's Stevenson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Here's Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Pats are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And 
Well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and it allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could explore in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Room to run at the 50. And finally, he's out of bounds, but not before a great return. He's all the way inside the 30. Forget the idea of flipping the field. They have now put themselves in a position to score points with that big-time return. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The 71 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Plenty of shouts from his crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So that challenge not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is now 24. The drive center at that time, five plays. And it all culminates in the Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. So the Patriots coming out now. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete there to Smith. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He gets it complete to Harris. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. Offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Delayed game. Off. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs him up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Kyle Fuller. 
That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> and they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Here we go on fourth down. A solid pickup of five and a very solid. And defensively, pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive line and creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Another run for Wilson on second. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's good for us. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 40 yards on the ground for him so far. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. And they'll indeed take a knee. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. And now out come the Patriots. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. To throw is Brady. That's caught by Myers. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. Brady will look to throw for it. And the Patriots get a bit closer. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. Receivers coach everywhere. 
Luke seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Uh, CD, this is the ideal situation the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful, they've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for New England, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. 